We're here with Oklahoma State University wheat breeder, Brett Carver. Brett, the committee just met and approved four new wheat varieties. Tell us about them. Yes, it was a, it was a glorious moment, I'll tell you, because uh, it's a long time coming to get to this point. Uh, four is a lot, but we can go into just why there were four. Uh, the Plant Materials Release Committee is the name of the committee that, that meets and, and approves, goes through the formal process of approving any variety release, wheat or, or anything else. And normally you would do this a little bit earlier uh, in the year. Tell us why it, it kind of took longer this time. Yeah, um, it is a little bit late in the process to be doing this. Uh, normally we would like to do it in February, you know, about the time that Oklahoma Crop Improvement Association is meeting, but uh, we just need a little bit more time. There are so many to think about. There are more that we're not going to talk about, that, that were not released. Uh, so we had to kind of go through that decision-making process and we just took it to the bitter end. And here we are at the end and now it's time to go. Well, let's roll them out. Let's, right. uh, let's talk about the first one. It, it's, uh, it's called Showdown. So tell us about the properties associated uh, with this variety and, and kind of the motivation for the name. Yeah, um, if I can, let me just kind of set up the whole setup for because it, the number is a little bit staggering to me. Um, we've, had, we've never done this before. And, and right now you think, gosh, there's so many wheat varieties out there anyway, why, why four? And, and I almost look at it like an arms race. This is an arms race of, of wheat varieties being uh, distributed and disseminated by a lot of different parties, public and private. Um, and everybody thinks their variety is special. You know, I, I, I can see that. But I think we're kind of past that point of, you know, seeing our variety is special. We want to see our varieties do something special. And, and that's what each one of these four will do. They do something special that the other ones do not do. So with that kind of setup, the, the uh, showdown is uh, more of the, you know, down the middle of the road, good, broad, utility, uh, hardwood winter wheat variety that's going to go in a lot of places. That's what it does special. We don't have a variety usually that can uh, be adopted and grown and grown successfully in a wide geography. Now Bentley was one example of that and Lone Rider is going to be another, but uh, we just haven't had very many of them. Showdown is one. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, how about Green Hammer? Uh, uh, by the, by the uh, suggestion of the name, this is a good green wheat variety in the, in the face of stress. And the stress is usually going to be leaf rust or stripe rust. With those two very common diseases in Oklahoma, this variety has shown a very green canopy. In other words, a high level of resistance to both diseases. It's very important for our wheat producers in Oklahoma to have that. Unfortunately, we don't have that combination very commonly, but we do in, in Green Hammer. Let's talk about Baker's Ann, and, and that name is, is sort of special, kind of named after our beloved first cowgirl. Exactly, you know, it's about time we have something that uh, we can uh, honor the, the, the first lady of Oklahoma State University, and we've had some suggestions to do that, and we, we wanted to have the right variety to put with that name, and, and, and the right name to go with it too. So here we're talking about something with the name Baker's in it, uh, something that's not that any of our varieties are going to have trouble uh, in baking quality. They're all very good. But this one is a standout, a very uh, high quality, premium baking variety that I think is going to get some attention well beyond the field into the mill. That's what I hope and, I, and that's what I expect. So, uh, you know, with, uh, for, with our first lady, and first class lady and, and first class wheat variety, I think those two just go hand in hand, Baker's in. And last but not least, true Oklahoma variety Skydance? That's right. You know it came from Oklahoma uh, so with the name Skydance and that's what we wanted to, to communicate because the variety is already be, being used outside of the state as a, as a high quality flour for artisan baking. And we know in addition to that artisan baking capability, it has tortilla properties that are unusually good. To, to combine that bread making and tortilla combined, uh, uh, baking uh, characters into one variety, that's been a real challenge up until now. Scott Ants can do both and can possibly go into some of the organic acres that might, might be picking up in the future. We think it has some potential there. Now it takes, as you mentioned, years of work, years of science and, and lots of strategy to get to this release point. It really does. The first cross that was made for any of these varieties, for Showdown specifically, uh, was 2005. And so, you know, you've got to go through a long process of, of, of inbreeding and doing all this uh, uh, 
uh, work that really nobody sees. You know, it's, it's nothing that you see in a wheat variety trial. And then by the time you get to the wheat variety trials, it's, it's already been in the program for a decade. And, and these have been in the program that long, but we still needed more time in those trials to figure out just where they're gonna fit best. So what's next? That's, that's part of what's next then, is, is uh, still continuing to, to, to identify the best area of adaptation. We have, we have it mapped out right now, but it's, it's, uh, it's a little tentative. And, and with more time and trials, all four of those varieties together in the same trial, which we haven't really done, uh, in the wheat variety trials that is, uh, we're going to be able to nail that, that area of adaptation down a little bit better. And they're all different. They're all different. Well, congratulations to you and the entire wheat improvement team on this very important milestone and, and keep us posted. Sure will. Thank you very much.